Are you looking for the best coffee maker to make bulletproof coffee? I just got finished reading Dave Asprey's Bulletproof Diet, and we picked up some bulletproof coffee and the brain octane oil that uh, he sells. And so we don't really have a coffee maker in our house, so we needed to buy one. So whenever we specifically wanted to do this, um, this bulletproof diet thing and check out his coffee here, we decided to pick up one of these Black & Decker ones. So we knew that the mesh thing that you put the coffee into needed to be metal. And so my wife bought this and hopefully she got a good one. We're gonna check that out today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. And buy to make bulletproof coffee. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So let's see, this is the Black & Decker CM0700BZ. I have no clue what this thing looks like. My wife bought it without me knowing. And um, she also got the, like I said, the coffee and the brain octane oil. And uh, hopefully this thing, well, I was thinking of just getting like a French press type of thing. And, but since this thing is like a coffee, I think it's just like a, like a coffee maker and it's got, um, it's got the metal mesh, I'm hoping. So you got some instructions on the top here, like how to, how to use it, whatever. Put that there. Let's see. This is how it comes. It comes in these like egg carton style type of things inside the box. Ah, this brews five cups of coffee, it says on here. Black & Decker five cup coffee maker. Ah, man, why can't I get this out? Okay, there we go. Got some styrofoam on the bottom there. Good packing right there. I like that. Let's see, we've got the cord wrapped around here. Unwrap that there. To make sure we don't drop the glass. It's a pretty small coffee maker. I used to drink coffee whenever I was in high school a lot. And uh, coffee usually gave me the runs. And so I stopped doing it. And so I'm, I'm wondering if that's because of molding coffee. The Bulletproof Coffee is supposed to be mold free. That was his whole thing behind creating that particular type of coffee. Uh, nice looking coffee maker, I'll say that. Just a black, uh, kind of sleek look. Got all the plastic paper on it right here. So let's go ahead and tear off some of that. Um, Let's see, we got a cord on the back here. It's about, I, you don't really need too large of a cord for a coffee maker because it kind of sits near a plug. That's about a two foot cord, I'd say. Decent size. Got the top. Okay, this is what I'm curious to know about is the filter. Is the filter a metal filter or what? Okay, come, look, yep. Comes with this little basket doohickey here. So that's what you put your coffee grinds in and then you make your coffee in there. And this is, I think that's metal. I can't tell. That's like, it's, it seems too like movable, but it could just be a very fine. My wife drinks a lot of tea and she has uh, one of these things that she uses for her tea and I believe it's made out of metal. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research just to make sure. And I'll have to let you guys know, maybe down in the description below. One, I'll link this thing up if you guys wanna check it out. But two, I'll do an update. I'll just put like update and I'll, I'll say if it's metal or not from what I find out. Um, as far as uh, just the look of it, you got this little thing that this thing sits into. And then you got the little thing that sits down right there on top of that. I'm assuming you fill your water right here because this is how you gauge how much you're going to make. A little on-off switch right there. And then you have your little pot here again. And we've got the five right there, one to five. So you can measure out everything nicely. It comes packaged with a little stuff on there so nothing hurts it. Um, got a little lid right there so you can get in there and clean it out and whatnot and drips through. Um, got the little pour spout there. Looks really nice. I like it. Um, I'm just wondering if this is uh, better than a French press. I was kind of interested in using a French press because one, I've, not, I've never really used a French press before. We used to have one, but my wife used it um, and we didn't really have a reason to use it because we didn't drink coffee. So I'm kind of curious to know how this thing's going to hold up for us. Um, and if it's actually, if that piece in there is actually metal, because that's kind of the main thing around uh, what he promotes with his coffee. Let's see, that goes right there. You got to make sure you line up the spout right here to this little groove right here. All in all, I'd say it looks like a decent coffee pot. Um, I'll have to run some tests on it. I'll check it out. I'll let you guys know 
down in the description below. You can go read other people's reviews about it. Click the link and go check that out because they may somebody may have actually answered that question already on Amazon. Uh, so click that link down in the description below if you guys want to find out some more information about this. But uh, and go read other people's reviews about it and see if it's a good coffee maker. You can come back and let me know down in the comments below if you like it. Do you guys drink coffee? Are you more a tea drinker? What do you prefer, coffee or tea? Let me know that down in the comments below. I'd be curious to know. Um, and let me know if y'all have ever heard of this bulletproof coffee thing. It's basically take coffee and you brew it, you put butter in it, no, no creamer or sugar or any of that type of stuff. And then they recommend putting this brain octane oil, which is an MCT oil. I did a video about this. If you guys want to see the videos that I did so far about uh, what I, my thoughts and all that on this coffee type of stuff, I'll put those right there on the screen. You guys go and click some of those videos. I'll see y'all in those videos. Videos. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. If you know someone who likes coffee, share this with them on their Facebook page. I bet they'd appreciate it. Thank y'all for watching. Dad out.